I recently discovered eight service businesses that are absolutely crushing it, yet nobody is talking about them. I was shocked to see just how well these businesses were doing with many of them being able to get up to millions of dollars of revenue while being super profitable. My name is Johnny Robinson and I built the number one rated and now largest window cleaning company in Orange County called Orange Window Cleaning. I also run a very established house cleaning business that I passed off to my mom that does about $35,000 a month in Orange County and we just opened a second location in Las Vegas. And I've also helped open over 1,500 house cleaning businesses all over the US and Canada with my company now, Home Service Academy. I'm gonna walk you through how I would start one, the potential earnings, the pros and cons, the startup costs, and how you can do it for yourself. So let's get into it. Number one is a mobile laundromat business. Now this might sound kind of weird because how is a laundromat mobile? Well, believe it or not, there's a company called Clothesline out there that's basically Uber, but for laundry. And so what's stopping you from going and starting a local competitor to a company like Clothesline? And all you need to get started is a washer and a dryer, which if you're watching this right now, I'm sure most of you have one. The business model is very simple. As long as you have that washer and dryer, you can charge $80 a month and you can pick up one bag of laundry a week from someone. You can start to stack the routes in different neighborhoods. So you're picking up all the laundry all at once. You're doing all the loads, you're folding it and you're returning it back. A good example of a business crushing this that's not software is a company called The Fold. They do multiple seven figures a year in revenue and all they do is pick up and deliver laundry. And you can get started as long as you have a car and a washer and a dryer. And as you're growing and as you're scaling this business, you can also utilize contractors to go out and do the pickup and washing themselves just like Clothesline does. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. The startup costs are next to nothing. I mean, close to zero, unless you're gonna go out and buy a washer and dryer, then it can be a little hefty. But as long as you have one, it's a perfect low cost business to start that you could eventually build into a million dollar or multiple millions of dollars a year business. Number two is very similar to the first one, but this is just taking out people's trash cans as a service. A great example of a company doing this is a company called Can Monkey, where all they do is take out people's trash cans for short-term rental owners. So think people who own Airbnbs, people who list their properties on Verbo for rentals. They're not at their property all the time to take all the trash out in between guests staying at their property, so they need someone to do it. That's where Can Monkey comes in. Or you. Can Monkey will charge anywhere between $25 to $40 a month to take out the trash cans to the street. That is it. That is all they do. And by the way, Can Monkey does over $200,000 a month in revenue. It's already over a $2 million a year business taking out people's trash cans. You could do the same thing in your local market. When you look at their website, they're only in a couple states. So what's stopping you? As long as you have a car, that is the only startup cost you need to get a couple clients who own Airbnbs and start taking out their trash for them. You can also utilize contractors just like you could for the mobile laundry idea. And you could definitely scale this business as big as you'd like to take it by entering new markets or even franchising if you wanted to do that too. Outside of short-term rentals, this is also a great service for the elderly who can't get up and take their trash cans down to the street. Think about as a trash can gets full, sometimes they're pretty heavy. And so it's it could be very challenging for an old person to take their own trash down to the street. It's another potential good segment of the market in this business. Number three, and honestly my favorite on the list because I just know it so well, is a remote house cleaning business. What is a remote house cleaning business? It's just a house cleaning business where you hire contractors. Just like the laundry idea, just like the trash can takeout idea, but just for house cleaning. Why I like house cleaning is because it's very recurring and it's a lot higher ticket than the last two I mentioned where you know you can land a 5,000 square foot home who's paying you $600, $700 every two weeks to clean their home and you don't have to do any cleaning yourself because you hire independent contractors who already have the equipment and the training and their own vehicles necessary to go out and do the work for you. It's one of the only businesses I know of in the service space where you can start with a degree of leverage where you're not the one actually out in the field doing the work yourself and it'll teach you all the skills of sales, marketing, hiring, ops so that if you want to continue to scale, you can do that. But if you also want to go into a new sexier business, you could also do that too. You can get started with as little as three to $500. All you need is booking Koala for $57 a month. That's going to take care of your customer payments, your scheduling, onboarding your cleaners. You need insurance for your cleaners for about 60 to $80 a month. And then you just need open phone because you don't want to have your personal number on any advertisements. And so that's $25 a month. And then your cost to file an LLC in whatever state you're in. That's all you need to get started. And one cleaner can make you up to $10,000 of revenue. The net profit margins in this business are about 30 to 40%. And keep in mind that's all while doing none of the labor yourself. 
And the cherry on top is if you ever wanted to go sell it, you could do that too because you already have the team in place to do the cleanings. You're not the one stuck doing it yourself. So you have a little bit more enterprise value and more potential for an exit down the line if you're ever interested in building and selling a company. Number four is dog poop pickup. Now hear me out. This one's kind of ridiculous because how could you make that much money off of picking up other people's dog poop? Well, believe it or not, it's actually a huge industry. There's a company called Swoop Scoop that's based in Seattle, Washington. They do $2 million a year picking up people's dog crap. And I don't even think they're the biggest in the space. You can charge anywhere between 10 to $15 per dog. And this is a service that's gonna need to be done on at least a bi-weekly basis, maybe sometimes even weekly. It's a very low ticket, easy to sell service that most people wouldn't blink an eye to because who likes to pick up their own dog crap? Nobody likes to. Just like all of the other service businesses I listed before, you can also use contractors. Most of the big poop scoopers use contractors anyways to scale this business. And all you need to get started is a dog poop pickup kit off of Amazon. I looked, they're around 15 to $25 take the poop with you, drop it in a dumpster, and you're done. Preferably you have a truck though, because you don't, if you have a sedan or something like that, you're probably gonna smell up your car. So I probably recommend you do have a truck. It's probably better if you have a truck, but great, very low cost business to start, very simple and easy to scale. And it's a service that everybody with a dog needs, and a lot of people have dogs. Number five is Christmas light installation. Now, if this video ends up coming out in between the months of September and before Thanksgiving, then you can take action on this today and run up a fat bag for yourself by starting one of these businesses. I know this because this was an add-on service at Orange Window Cleaning. It would keep us busy through the slow season and we would charge top dollar. At some points we would land $10,000 residential jobs just hanging Christmas lights. Now, how does it work? How do you charge that much? It's because you're gonna be buying industrial grade C9 lights and you're gonna be able to sell them a service that's custom to their home because you're gonna custom fit all of the lights. Not only that, but because it's industrial grade, it's gonna last you five to 10 years. So you buy the inventory once, and then every year that customer continues to use you to hang the lights is pretty much all just service and all profit because you already paid for the lights the first time. So the key to making money in this business is to make sure that you lease the lights to the customer and you're gonna go install them when Christmas is over, you're gonna go take them down and you're gonna bake in the takedown costs into the installation at the beginning. So you're not charging them for the takedown, you frame it as free takedown. And then you're gonna go take the lights down after Christmas is over and you're gonna store them somewhere. Where it could be your garage, that can be a storage space that you rent. Or once you get bigger with this, you can even get your own warehouse. I've seen businesses get big enough to literally have their own warehouse where it's just stacked to the brim of their customer's Christmas lights. All you need to get started is a ladder, the Christmas lights, which you can get from WeSellChristmasLights.com, and some everyday tools that you can find in most garages. You're gonna charge for a one-story house on just the first story, about $5 a linear foot. And then for second story, you're gonna charge about $7 per linear foot, because it's a little harder to hang. You're gonna have to you know, get up on the roof and, and hang those lights. So when you break it out, the average house is gonna have about 200 feet of lights. You're looking at anywhere between $1,000 to $1,400 per installation. And again, it can get really crazy with what people will pay for Christmas lights because again, we've done huge houses where we're dishing out $10,000 quotes and they're not blinking an eye that we install every year to this day. It's a great business. And again, if you're watching this in between now and before Thanksgiving, it's a great business you can get started with. Number six is turf cleaning. People pay thousands, tens of thousands of dollars to get turf installed as opposed to grass. A lot of these people will have animals there'll be wear and tear, it's artificial grass at the end of the day, so it's gonna get dirty and it's gonna get nasty. When you have dogs peeing on it, pooping on it, it's not like normal grass where it just goes away after you pick it up because the grass will grow and, and kind of clean itself. Turf doesn't do that, it needs someone to come in and clean it. And there's multi-million dollar businesses in this space who just do turf cleaning. If you look at this company called Dirty Turf, they do in between two to five million dollars a year just providing turf cleaning services and all you need to get started in this business is a turf brush. And I'll pop a picture up here so you know what that looks like. You can get one on Amazon for $200 and you need some chemical to pour on the turf to get some of those odors out. So think carpet cleaning, but just for turf. And because turf needs to be maintained so often, you can charge anywhere between 80 to $100 a month. It'll probably only take you about 30 minutes to knock out a quick turf cleaning. Great business to start with low startup cost. This one's not something you really hear about often, but hey, there's riches in the niches. Number seven, we have swimming pool removal. And I know you've never heard of this one because I only know of one guy doing this, but I know it's a great opportunity in pretty much anywhere there's swimming pools because 
How many people have you met where it's like, oh, you have such a nice pool, but then they go, oh, I never use it. There's a lot of people who actually want to use up that space for other things that's not a pool, which will take up most of your backyard if you have a smaller backyard. So lots of people are starting to get their pools removed. I have a buddy on Twitter, his name's Bobby. He runs a company called Frisch and Sons in California. They do $4,000 of profit per pool per week. And they do about four pools per week. That comes out to 16K of profit per week or $64,000 a month of net profit. But if you can afford to invest into the equipment, I know it's something where there's not a lot of competition and there's tons of demand for it because people are always gonna to wanna to do renovations to their homes. Last but not least, number eight, we've got trash bin cleaning. Now, most people will keep their trash bins inside their garage. And if anybody watching this has trash bins, you know those start to stink. That's where trash bin cleaning comes in to solve that problem. You can charge about $50 per bin and all you need to get started is a two to $300 pressure washer that you can get from Home Depot and maybe some soap. You show up, you pull the trash cans out, you spray them out, you drop the soap in there, you make it smell good and you leave. There's businesses in the space doing over $10 million a year. Very low startup cost, very high scalability. Not only that, but when you do start to grow this business and you do start to scale, you can invest more of your profit into a mobile trash bin cleaning truck where there's actual trash bin trucks that will pick up the trash can just like a dumpster would, but instead of dropping trash into the dump truck, it sprays it and cleans it automatically. I'll pop up an image on the screen here of what one of these looks like, but just goes to show that even the simplest services can scale to really, really big heights. So those are eight super profitable service businesses that you've probably never heard of. Let me know in the comments below if I missed on my mark. If you've heard of one or two of them, let me know. If you haven't heard of any of them, also let me know. Also let me know what your favorite one was of the list. And if you're somebody who's watching this and clicked because you're thinking about that next business that you wanna start, but you're not sure where to start, then check out Home Service Academy in the link down below. We've helped over 1,500 people start their very own remote house cleaning business where they're not doing any of the cleaning themselves. It's something we're very, very good at. We've done it for almost eight years now. And at some point you gotta decide how long am I gonna spend searching for the perfect business when you could have gotten started a few months ago and been up and running by now making profit? So if that's you, even if you just want a consultant, somebody who's built cleaning businesses to be able to meet with you and talk you through what it would be like, it's free. So check it out, click the link below, book a call with the team, see if it's a good fit. If not, no big deal. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more, and I'll see you in the next one.